Hello everyone. So after performing my first photosensitive paper test in my last video, I was finally able to find some more regions to test that had been listed before on some essential oil enthusiast websites and blogs. In particular, they cite uh, that carrot seed essential oil has a stunning 35 to 40 SPF, which is equivalent to titanium dioxide, as they say. Uh, titanium dioxide is a common sunscreen ingredient for sunblock and makeup. So luckily I was able to find both carrot seed oil and titanium dioxide uh, um, online and so I thought I'd stage a comprehensive test with all of the ingredients that I've used thus far so we can really see how well all of them work as far as blocking UV light. So here we have another test sheet of photosensitive paper with clear plastic wrap stretched on top and as you can see we're going to test children's uh, sunscreen SPF 40, raspberry seed essential oil which is rated at 25 to 50 SPF, carrot seed oil which is rated at 35 to 40, and coconut oil rated at 4 to 6. Finally we're also going to be mixing some titanium dioxide uh, into a cream using common vegetable oil. As you can see we have 99% uh, titanium oxide which I will then pour a little bit of vegetable oil into this uh, little uh, ceramic bowl here. I'll mix in about a tablespoon of uh, titanium dioxide and soon once it has the consistency of what you know you expect to have out of um, sunscreen I'll dab about three or four drops onto the uh, plastic and then rub it in um, to give it a good spread. So next up we have some uh, children's very emollient sunscreen from Alba. It's SPF uh, 40 and I think it's great. Um, we're going to squirt about three or four or five little drops onto the plastic and give it a good spread just like we did the um, titanium dioxide. And here we have pure red raspberry seed oil. Um, it is, as you can see from the bottle, uh, 99.5% raspberry seed uh, oil and the rest is a 0.05% vitamin E. I'll put about four or five drops onto the plastic here and uh, give it a good spread uh, just like everybody else. Next up we have 100% pure carrot seed oil from Eden Gardens. Uh, this stuff is incredibly pungent. I mean, when you open this thing up, it's like smelling a garden of carrots, uh, and not really in a good way. It's it almost stinks. You can smell it from across the room if you uh, if you're not careful. Uh, it took a bit of work to get enough drops out of the uh, bottle here, but I was finally able to get a fair amount onto the uh, plastic and then spread it around uh, like everything else. Uh, I made sure to wash my hands thoroughly after this because uh, this stuff stinks. <laughs> Next up is 100% uh, coconut oil, uh, a pure extra virgin as you can see from the back there. Um, coconut oil is rated to be at 5 to 7 I believe for um, SPF. I used a spoon uh, to apply it to the plastic here uh, and smear it around so I'm guessing that's going to be about three or four drops. And now it's time to take this outside. So the way that photosensitive paper works is that by exposing it to the sunlight, uh, it will be exposed to the UV rays uh, that come off of the sun, um, which react with the chemicals uh, on the top of this paper. And anything that is exposed to UV light will appear as blue, and anything that is not exposed to UV light will appear as white. We let this sit for about three minutes and then take off the uh, plastic wrap. Uh, and in order to get this to uh, develop, we simply drench it in water and then let it sit uh, for a good hmm, five or six minutes afterwards. And here we have it. Now allowing the paper to develop, we can see that sunscreen did a good job at blocking UV. Raspberry seed, not so much. Coconut oil, not so much carrot seed oil, not so much, and titanium dioxide, yeah, actually did a pretty good job. Um, once again, if it's colored blue, it means that it was exposed to UV light. Carrot seed oil did not block the UV light. Raspberry seed oil did not block the UV light. Coconut oil did not block the UV light, but titanium dioxide did, and so did the sunscreen. So what does this tell us? 
Well, unfortunately, this means that the carrot seed and raspberry seed essential oils are going to be ineffective at protecting your skin from harmful UV rays. Uh, despite what you're told from essential oil blogs and enthusiasts, including a scientific paper written in 2001, I would not recommend using these oils in lieu of sunscreen that actually works. As you saw from the experiment, you can make your own homemade sunscreen using the titanium dioxide powder. Uh, it's only five bucks for a bag of that stuff, but I can't say for certain how long that stuff will last on your skin, whether it's sweat proof, whether it's waterproof. Um, I would honestly just recommend buying uh, sunscreen at the store. So there we have it. Um, if you like what you see, please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, if I get enough reception, I might see if I can find some other things around the house that I could maybe test to verify whether this sort of stuff works. Uh, otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, have a great day.